<laughs> so it looks <laughs> Okay, you wearing that for the video. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome back to a new tutorial. We are now here at Climbmore Skate Park in San Diego and today you were gonna learn how to grind a rail on a scooter. Grinding a rail is a basic scooter trick that will help you in so many situations. So it's really easy, you can learn it. Let's get it. Step one, safety is first, second and third. So make sure you always wear your helmet. I forgot my helmet in the car, so I'm gonna use this helmet right here. But make sure you have a helmet that fits your size. But for now, this helmet should be good. We have now here flat rail. In my opinion, the easiest place to learn a grind is on a flat rail. You want to make sure that the flat rail is as small as possible. So you do not have to jump so high to get onto the rail. The key to being at good at rail grinds is to have a good balance point. There are two main ways to grind. You can either grind front side or back side. Back side grind means that your toes are pointing forward when you grind. And front side means that your toes are pointing backward when you grind. Most people learn backside first and also find that backside is easier because your toes are actually pointing forward and it's like the more natural way to actually grind. The most important thing about rail grinds is the right balance point. Like the better your balance point is, the better. The best way to approach a rail is in a very pointed angle. So let's say you grind from this side. The best way to approach is not from the front, not straight like this. The best angle is like about pointed, so like right this. Mm -hmm. One of the best advice I can give you is to jump on top of the rail. Don't jump like from the side. Make sure you always jump on top of the rail and then try to stand on the rail. There are two types of shapes of a rail. There's either a round rail or a flat rail. In my opinion, it's easier to learn how to grind on a flat rail just because it's easier to stay on top. But in general, when you're more advanced, in my opinion, round rails are just better to grind because like you can adjust your angle on the grind a little bit better because it's round. The best way to balance on a rail is to grind on top of it, not to jump from the side. Always make sure you come at a pointed angle and then jump on top of the rail. That's very important and also make sure always lean forward. So the faster you go, the more you have to lean actually forward. Another good tip is when you grind the rail, always make sure that your feet are about on the rail, just like this. You approach the rail at a pointed angle, not parallel, just like this. Point it, then you wanna make sure you jump on top of it, like this, on top, not from the side, always on top, and then lean forward and go with the rail. And make sure that your feet are actually about like right here, and then balance over the rail. Yeah. Learning how to grind a rail is actually very easy. All you have to do is just practice. The more you grind a rail, the more comfortable you will get and the better you will get at balance. One more important tip that I can give to all the beginners. When you first learn how to grind a rail, make sure you go find a very, fl uh, a very small flat rail. Because the smaller the flat rail, the less you have to jump. Because the more you have to jump on the rail, the less you can actually focus on the balance. So make sure you go find a very small rail so you just have to barely hop onto it, up onto the rail. Approach the rail at a pointed angle, jump on top of it, keep the feet on the rail, lean forward and kind of like go with the rail. Like a rail grind is a very flowy trick so you want to make sure you flow with the rail. Alright guys, I hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you to learn how to grind a rail. Grinding a flat rail is a big beginner basic trick that you can learn really fast. It's not very hard. Just make sure you find a good flat rail. Not too high, not too small. Practice with your friends. Also, big shout out to Amir for borrowing me his helmet. I forgot my helmet in the car, so I borrowed his helmet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if we should do more tutorials and comment down below what other tutorials we should do in the future. This is personal, this is personal, this is personal. Make sure you also subscribe and hit the notification ring bell. Just the ring bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time we upload. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow, guys.